Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And illumine your church. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with your voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day, and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May his word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation and we, your creatures, glorify you Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God, in you I take refuge, strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of a repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from Romans. So what do we do? Keep on sinning so God can keep on forgiving? I should hope not. If we've left the country where sin is sovereign, how can we still live in our old house there? Or didn't you realize we packed up and left there for good? That is what happened in baptism. When we went under the water, we left the old country of sin behind. When we came up out of the water, we entered into the new country of grace, a new life in a new land. That's what baptism into the life of Jesus means. When we are lowered into the water, it is like the burial of Jesus. When we are raised up out of the water, it is like the resurrection of Jesus. Each of us is raised into a light-filled world by our Father so that we can see where we're going in our new grace-sovereign country. Could it be any clearer? Our old way of life was nailed to the cross with Christ, a decisive end to that sin-miserable life. No longer it sins every beck and call. What we believe is this. If we get included in Christ's sin-conquering death, we also get included in his life-saving resurrection. We know that when Jesus was raised from the dead, it was a signal of the end of death as the end. Never again will death have the last word. When Jesus died, he took sin down with him. But alive, he brings God down to us. From now on, Think of it in this way. Sin speaks a dead language that means nothing to you. God speaks your mother tongue, and you hang on every word. You are dead to sin and alive to God. That's what Jesus did. My soul proclaims In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church in Christ, for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. 
For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. For our bishops, pastors, and deacons in Christ, for all servants of the church, and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful who have gone before us and at rest, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen.